made a cause by its effects. What does that mean? The Father is made the Father by the Son, in the sense that, that creation is like this beautiful eternal dance. It's like the cause and effect dancing simultaneously as one. Like the song of prayer is talked about, it's like a dance. It's a, it's a dance of cause and effect. And they are together. They are one. That's the fun of the dance. It's, it's total oneness and total connection. And in this world, which is made up totally as a denial of that dance, it seems like the causes come first and the effects come second. Just like means and ends are split off, and means come first and ends come second. So, when we are looking for healing in form, and we're looking to heal the body, we'll say, which seems like a reasonable thing. You talk about most healings and healers in the world, they're talking about healing the body or healing the symptoms. We start to realize that that's all an attempt to heal the effect without looking at the cause, without looking at the mind. In fact, the whole world was made that you would never look within. The whole world was made to keep you mindless. If you are a divine mind, and you were created as a divine mind by God, the world was invented, was projected, it's fiction, it's fantasy, it's a distractive device to keep you mindless, to keep you unaware of, of your divine mind, which is what the healing really is. It's a lot, it's a pretty extravagant scheme to keep you unaware of your div divinity. It's, it's very intricate. And so let's talk a little bit about the body and symptoms and, and healing the body. Well, to the mind awake, healing the body is, is like a contradiction in terms. Because the body isn't sick. Uh, perception is just fragmented and that's what the sickness is. It's not that something within the fragment like a body needs to be healed, it's more the cracked perception is, is really what the sickness is. And forgiveness gives an answer to that, it, it provides the healing. So, what I discovered in my life was that the Holy Spirit looks not to effects, but the Holy Spirit has seen the impossibility of the cause of the world. The ego is an impossible cause. Why? Because God didn't create it. It's pretty obvious to the Holy Spirit that the ego is a, is a causeless cause because God didn't create it. And God is true causation. So, once you start to look at that and you start to go in deeper and deeper and deeper with that, you start to realize that any attempt to try to work it out in terms of the timeline, let's have a better situation, a better outcome, something different in form, something would change in form, I would be happy. If I could get a different configuration in form, then I would be happy. If I had a different configuration in form, then I would be healed. And what I'm teaching right now is that that the world is causeless. Why would you continue to believe that you could get a better configuration of something that doesn't have a cause? It would be like, you know, making up a fairy tale and then searching inside the fairy tale to try to find the healing and the wholeness. It's, you know, you have to come to start to see the absolute impossibility of finding the solution in the form. That's what A Course in Miracles is about. It's teaching you to be a miracle worker. The miracle lifts you up above the battleground of the world. It lifts you into the, the celestial realm that's beyond this world. And you find that that's where the healing is too. It's the healing that you find in your mind. Not about trying to search and find for it. And that's why, you know, healing has such a, it's kind of associated with temporariness. Um, did you get healed? That means, did the symptoms go away? Are you feeling better? You know, it's so tied into the temporary world. And the Course is saying only salvation can be said to cure. You will only be healed when your perception, your, your <coughs> fragmented perception, your linear perception is healed. 
when you start to, to see time completely different. You start to see that it's simultaneous and not linear. So that's our exploration. You know, you're feeling it. You can feel the magnitude. It's almost like wandering in the dark and searching and turning on all these flashlights and all of a sudden this giant light in the sky appears like a giant uh, UFO and you can feel the tractor beam of it and that all you really have to do is, is yield into it and open to it and everything that you perceived was a conflict, a contradiction, a sickness that you were battling with, fighting with, will be dissolved instantly in that light. And what will it cost you? Well, nothing in reality, but it will cost you, it seems to the ego, the giving up of everything that you think you know about the timeline, about the, the world. You have to let go of everything that you think you know about the world, including the idea that there's causes and effects in the world. That's, you know, we could talk for hours just on that one theme, that there are no causes and effects, no causes and consequences in the world. It takes a convincing to really see the, the reality of that. So we're going down. We're going down the rabbit hole. Yay. Thank you. The joy of cluelessness. <laughs> That's it. I love you all. Thank you so much. That's it. The joy of cluelessness. Radiance.